I'm Bruce Meyer from the Peterson Museum, and you're watching Fireball Malibu Vlog. What's up? We're in Huntington Beach today. Gotta make sure I did forget my phone or not. Fell somewhere. So he's forgetting his stuff. Oh, hey. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're, we're I, like I said, we're in Huntington Beach. We're going to Donna Derelicts. We're not driving anything, you know, really all that cool. This is cool. Your car's filthy. So uh, we're taking the Hyundai and we're just going to cruise there. We're going to kind of sneak in so no one sees us. That's you, baby. It's nice. Whiskey. Like so far, Ken. Tiger tail. <laughs> uh, there are some sweet rides here today. Um, kind of hard to focus. My neck is kind of sore, especially when you see stuff like this right there. Gorgeous, man. Hey there. Good morning. Good morning.
why I never ran the Malibu. I bring it here. Yeah, no, I didn't bring the drizzle. There's no drizzle here. There's no rain whatsoever. And this dude forgot to bring his car, or chose not to bring his car. It was raining. I don't know. It was raining. Really it was, bad. Yeah, so you say. Did I hear the wheels are the cool part of this? Oh yeah, you know when you first rolled in, I noticed that the how how the stance is so yeah. fantastic. Well, you know it's all about stance. Yeah, stance oh, yeah. and wheels. I mean, right. you could make anything look good with stance. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for a Ford Fairmont to, to come in. You know, what you bring today? <laughs> I didn't bring anything today. I came to look at you guys. Okay, um, yeah. But did I hear that you drove this thing to Canada? Yeah, yeah, with my wife. Uh huh. And I drove it down here from, you know, L.A. Yeah. So, I mean, I drive it. It's a driver. Where, where did you go? Up in Canada? Uh, Victoria. For the 32, it was a 32 Ford yeah. Union. Sure. Yeah, yeah, fantastic show. It's all good. That's awesome. It's great to see yeah. you. I hope we can yeah, uh, good to see uh, you have you over at Wilson Way sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Love to do it. Awesome. Love the right. show, man. Thank you, man. Derelicts. Mm -hmm. Not a bad turnout. We saw Bruce. That oh, was yeah. cool. Bruce Meyer, cool. Uh, great hot rod he was driving. It's really cool. It's really cool when you when you go to a, a show like Donut Derelicts, and uh, of course the average guy is going to be there with his cool car, or even people that might show up who don't necessarily have a cool car for today. People like Bruce Meyer show up. If, you know, if you know who Bruce is, uh, he's been around a very long time. He's got an amazing collection of cars. But one of the founders, if not the founder, of the Peterson Museum, and, is, and does so much stuff, so many amazing things for car culture and the car lifestyle in general. It's just neat to see those people show up and, and hang out. And you know, Chip might show up, Jay might show up, uh, Bruce or, or anybody who's just into really cool cars and just wants to have a really good time and be able to share that passion. And that's that's something that's not necessarily a normal occurrence. But you see that they're they're average people. They're normal people, just like you and I, and they love cars in the same way. They want to be able to share them, but more than that, they want to drive them. So I got home and uh, and have to get some things prepared because I have something pretty spectacular coming in the next couple of days. I'm going to be taking you guys on a trip someplace very cool. Going to have a really good time, but in order to do that, I got quite a bit of work to do. So I spent most of the day doing that kind of stuff, but I wanted to tell you guys just a quick little story, and that has to do with one of my kids' books. This 
is the big book of wacky states. Well, technically, it's a, it's a card. It's not really the book itself, but this is all I have at the moment. The, the reason that I did this book is I, I had a meeting with the, the head of the local school board, of the Los Angeles school board. And the interesting thing about this conversation was that he was telling me that there are kids in the, in the LA school system that are 10, 11 years old that have no idea exactly where they live. In fact, some of them believe that the state is Los Angeles. Some of them believe that the state was Mexico. Some of them just had no clue or how many states there were or anything else. So he suggested that I do a book that made it simple for kids to learn all about the states, but do it with an automotive theme. And that's what this book is about. This book teaches kids all about the states, the USA, how cool it is. And every single state is kind of an automotive theme. Check that out. This Kentucky. The Kentucky Bluegrass Derby right there. It's really cool. They get to learn the, the flags, they get to learn the capitals, they get to learn the state animals, the state trees, the state birds, things like that. And then there's a map inside the book that kind of, you, you get a chance to look at the shape of the state and map it over onto the big map of the, of the state so you know exactly where it is. Very simple educational tool. And because of the success of that book, I decided to do this book, which is a coloring book. But the next one that's really cool is the letter book. You want You want to see what I'll show you the first two letters. Don't show anybody this because this is kind of top secret. But this is the letter A right there. See that? That's an aardvark driving the letter A and there's a bag of apples down there. So there's all kinds of things that's going to teach them that. But then that's A and there's B. This is the banana truck and it's, it's kind of black, although I'm not finished with it. It's going to be black. It's driven by a baboon, which of course makes a lot of sense. Banana, baboon. Do baboons eat bananas? I know chimpanzees do. It doesn't really matter. It's a bee, bam, bamboo. And it's kind of badass. Bee, wait, bee. So there has to be ways to be able to teach kids in a fun and simple way uh, that inspires them to not only, you know, love our passion, our love of cars, but also educate them about our home and how cool it is because there's lots of really cool things. So anyway, if you get a chance, pick up a copy of the book. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on a variety of bookstores. And just know that part of the proceeds go to companies like 4Ocean, National Mill Dog Rescue, and a variety of other charities that we work with. Right. Thanks for watching. Very, very, very awesome show today. We got another show that's coming up uh, tomorrow. But after that, it's a big trip. It's a freaking big trip. It's an awesome trip. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna blame me. You wanna know what it is? I'm gonna tell you. What we're gonna do.